Okay, so I wanted to, um, so I'm in the middle of editing uh, the video that I want to put up today, and it's my, it's the Kentucky road trip. And to let you know, there's some footage there, I was like, that's not going up. So I'm, my main goal now, from now on when I do my videos, is making an effort to make myself presentable, because one of the, one of my footages was like, what is my hair doing it was it was kind of stupid but um, I am learning a different software that's what's taking me a little bit longer but my goal is to get that video up today today but just to keep you um, just to get let you be aware this this Kentucky road trip is a combination of somewhat your van life um, and where you went and stayed at a VRBO and just it was just a road trip just to get away sometimes during this sheltered home covid and closing not closing has been very stressful on both my husband and i and the businesses and i we just needed to get away and wherever it was it, we just needed to get away and that's why we took this trip I and mean, i hope you enjoyed the footage that i have there <laughs> But uh, bear with me, I am learning a new software. I'm learning Premiere, Adobe Premiere Pro. I've been editing all my movies on iMovie. And sure, it's great. There's just certain more things I wanna add to my videos and it's gonna be a little babysit, a little different, but I think I will get it. I have Final Cut Pro and I just can't for the life of me. I've tried like three or four times to understand Final Cut Pro. And I will get it someday, but not today. Um, so I am trying Premiere Pro. They have a few more things that I want to test out. And uh, I'm learning. So bear with me. I have a few more other videos coming up. And I'm excited to share those with you. Uh, just to let you know, there will be a complete, I'm talking a complete van build on uh, the minivan. My husband agreed to walk you around the van and explain a lot of things. And I have a lot of footage on before and after. So I'm slowly working on that editing and then we'll have more. But I will keep you updated. I'm working on my schedule as well, seeing where life is leading. Life is up and down. You never know. I'm like, I feel like I'm doing a new routine every week. That makes sense but the one thing that is staying and i like the fact especially during these uncertain times is that i'm staying with my shake staying with my vitamins i'm staying with all my supplements i'm staying more with plant-based meals that's what is somewhat grounding me and keeping me in check that hey something is actually normal and taking this time to really develop my own personal self-care routine that works for me and me the best but i hope you will enjoy this video um basically it was just a week uh, like four four day getaway four and a half day getaway truly loved it it was relaxing calm quiet and sometimes you need that just a downtime to decompress de-stress reconnect and just for me, it was being around the things I love is the horses and seeing those beautiful pastures and farms. That was so cool. Granted, we didn't get to go do the wineries or the bourbon. Um, a lot of those things were closed. The tours were closed and the tasting, which was kind of sad. But we made the best of it, and that's what you have to do in uncertain times like this. You just make the best of it. So my husband's already asking, where are we going next? And um, we will see. So we are not, just reiterate, we are not full-time van lifers. I don't plan on being, and neither does he. This is a just a, he likes to drive. He hates to fly. I like to fly. I just like to get there. But with these times now, um, we're kind of staying away from hotels. We do more VRBOs than anything. But really, I this is like probably my second trip this year which is sad usually i take more trips than that i want to take more trips but now um the thing is he's wanted to always do more road trips go venture around the united states see the land around here and first before we venture out overseas so 
The next thing is figuring out where we're going next. <laughs> and we will show you those adventures as well. But just to let you know, the van life is not an every week thing and it's not a every month thing either. It's just we just fit it around when we need to get away. So I hope you enjoyed the footage on here. Um, and let me know. It's, it's pretty raw. I'll do better at picking my footage and doing a better job, but hopefully you'll like it later. Hey, so we're getting ready to go on our road trip. Um, this is the van. Uh, I'll try to show you the best I can. Right now it's dark, so I might have better lighting, but in the back is our luggage and I'll show you what I pack because it's just a four day trip. This is your freezer, but we're just taking a quick trip. One night we stay in the van on the way down. We're going to a VRBO and it's going to be a lovely place. So I'm excited. So we're, it's almost seven, I think, and we're going to um, head on out soon and just drive as far as we can. It's a good drive, you know, good whole day drive, but we're just going to go drive part way, stop somewhere, sleep, and then head out again in the morning. So this is kind of like a little quick van lifing uh, trip. Later. Kind of our first stop. We've been driving for now, I would say about two and a half hours. We're gonna drive another hour and then we're gonna stop at a like rest area and sleep in the van. <laughs> just still, you know, different, but uh, I thought I'd check in with you. We're just stopping real quick, take contacts out, get a little snack, and one thing cool snacks are always in the back and always have fun and one thing great about you know traveling by car or by van or wherever even rv is you strike up conversations you start talking because sometimes during the work work week you get busy 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 that you don't take the opportunity to sit down and chat you watch tv instead but you know we're having a nice chat now so i'll see you later what it is sleeping in a van. It's a little cold, but it was doable. Better than being hot and sweaty and claustrophobic. <laughs> okay, for those who want some a little more detail, there's this overhead lighting, the one that, but you switched it to more it's LEDs. A, LEDs. Strip lights. So, like rainbow color. You can switch color. But see, this is blackout if you can so it's all blacked out you have to be the whole stealthy thing going on here so there is uh there's the bed you turn the light back on there that's the back of the van there's a uh, bungee holding some clothes up it's the side where you put the blankets kind of fold out all the blankets and then there's the other side and then we just got done brushing teeth putting contacts in in the sink so now we step out of the van. Open sesame! The light. Yay. All right. Okay, so we're on our trip. So we're at a gas station. And, you know, when you go off the highway, usually there's a Starbucks. And there is. So with this healthy lifestyle, um, I debate if I should actually go and get a coffee from Starbucks. Recently, anytime I've gotten a coffee from Starbucks, I've had, you know, not so good repercussions. And, but then, you know, there's that chocolate croissant that I used to always get. So, oh, it's battling through my head. But we're getting gas right now. And uh, I'm going to start my, uh, instead of, I miss walking Wednesdays yesterday. So I'm going to start <laughs> to a travel Thursday on my Instagram. But yeah, I'm debating. I don't know. Oh, cool. Cute little place. Kitchen. Oh, in the bedroom. 
Hey y'all. And a TV. <laughs> That's a cool painting. And then out back. Very cool. I guess we can walk along there. There's a horse barn back there. People have horses here by that. <laughs> Very cool. And then I'm assuming this is the bathroom. Wow, check it. So cute. And then that must be their area. I think. Very cute. Liquid draft over on. Horse breeds and types have developed to serve the needs and wants of people. Although we no longer use them as it's been a great beautiful day. We're gonna go on the horseback riding trails. So that I'm looking forward to because you actually get to go around the whole Kentucky horse park. Yay! We took a road trip to Kentucky and really there's not much to do besides hit the parks but then actually some parks you have to have a reservation crazy as that sounds but luckily my husband found a really cool horse park they do trail rides endurance rides jumping so behind me is a jumping course and we've been chilling here for the past couple of hours just chilling relaxing had some cookies that's about it. De-stressing, decompressing, it's been nice. So, I guess they, they raised the jumps even higher, so I think this is like the last round. Took some video of some beautiful, beautiful horses. But this is our day, so it's kind of disappointing that not much places are open, not even dining anymore. So we're going to order some carryout probably on the way home and see what the night holds. And we've been watching old reruns of Baywatch. Mm. Nice. <laughs> so, later. Mm -hmm. 